Hello, I'm Nadine Cooper, a Senior Paediatric Respiratory Nurse Specialist. Normally, we see children presenting to hospital with respiratory illnesses in October. However, we've been seeing our normal winter activity levels since June. These conditions include chest infections, bronchitis and asthma attacks. We are also seeing an increased number of children presenting with COVID-19 requiring additional respiratory support. One of our biggest challenges is caring for babies and infants who are presenting with bronchitis and needing additional respiratory support. Bronchiolitis is a viral respiratory lung infection. For most babies and infants, it will be no more serious than a cold, but for some, they require hospital admission. There are many viruses that cause bronchiolitis, but the most common is RSV. My top tips for anybody caring for children and young babies would be wash your hands regularly and try to avoid touching your face. Do not smoke around your child or let others smoke. If you do smoke, smoke outdoors, and if you're thinking of stopping smoking, free help and support is available by your local smoke-free service. If you become unwell, remember to cover coughs and sneezes, and stay at home to stop the spread of bugs and viruses. Try not to expose your child to friends and family who are unwell. Ensure regular cleaning of toys and surfaces at home. Viruses such as RSV can live on hard surfaces for up to 24 hours. Sometimes it's unavoidable. If there is an alternative childcare arrangement, we'd suggest to do that. If not, follow top tips in this video and potentially you could wear a face mask. We know that exposure to secondhand smoke irritates children's airways and makes them more at risk of catching respiratory illnesses. So we would certainly avoid taking them into places where it is a smoke environment. Absolutely, washing your hands is the best way to prevent the spread of germs and viruses. Everybody loves kisses and cuddles with newborn babies and infants, um, but we would definitely say to avoid doing this because we know it's a transmission of the spread of viruses, not only bronchiolitis but many other viruses as well.